here we're going to talk about how the bass drum is played uh, in that sequence and techniques to play it. You're going to see a lot of bass drumists and Bonham uh, uh, plays his bass drum predominantly a single kick and he does it in a way that is just tonic Bonham. It's Bonham-esque. It, it has, it has uh, become a niche in classic music. Uh, it's, it's, it's carved in the bone of, of classic rock and roll, that Bonham uh, uh, methodology of playing the kick drum. Um, in order to focus on playing the kick drum like that, you really need to think about it as an individual instrument. And um, getting all the dynamics out of the drum. Bonham did not play with a bunch of pillows and baby diapers type to th uh, taped to his heads. He didn't want to muffle it a lot. He didn't want to just make it a monotone. Buh, 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 buh. If you really listen closely to um, a large 26 inch bass drum that does not have a pillow in it, there's a broad range of dynamics in it, so much so that it will probably scare you when you really just hit it one good time. You're wondering, what am I going to do with all that sound? It's scary. It goes, I mean, if you hit it easy or if you hit it hard, what am I going to do? Well, the key to really learning how to play that bass drum is just like playing any other drum. You'll see Bonham put his hands on the toms, the acoustic toms, and, and, and muffle, muffle them with his fingers pressing down and letting up, you, you get a lot of range out of that drum. Your drumsticks are extensions of your fingers. Thinking about how Gene Krupa played drums. Watch old Gene Krupa films and you'll see him take two matchsticks, very small matchsticks, and he'll play drums with them, shuffle with matchsticks. That is how Bonham learned how to play drums. He was watching those kinds of percussionists when he was growing up and learning how to play drums himself. So thinking if you really want to get in the world of John Bonham, um, it's necessary to understand how he learned to play drums and the content he was exposed to when he was learning how to play drums. And if you focus on that content as being content for your own uh, advancement and skills. Well then you're going to start learning just naturally a lot of the things that Bonham learned and learned the way he learned through trial and error. But thinking about that kick drum as, a, as an instrument, individual instrument, and getting the most out of a tom that you're playing, that dr bass drum can be played easy, but with a lot of rhythm dynamics in it, a hard and then too easy. That's how you play that bass drum in this genre. Um, you can play it very hard. You can play it very easy. So much so that it's not even triggering this this acoustic this uh, electric trigger. That's how easy I was hitting it. But if you think about the, the, the rhythm of that bass drum head and that that bass drum hammer batter hitting that head and how it will resonate. Just like that, uh, that's what's going on down there. When you hit it a good one, a boom, that drum's going to it's it's going to give, and that that drum's going to breathe, and then it's going to come back. Boom! It's going to come back. That that head is. You'll be able to see it working, and you'll be able to over time adjust your body to play in a way that that actually complements the way that bass drum head is vibrating and sends out the sounds that you are targeting.